Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To view the photos and videos added to the organizer, click the Media button in the middle of the shortcuts bar. Thumbnail pictures of the media within the organizer window then appear in a grid layout. To adjust the size of the thumbnails, click and drag the zoom slider in the taskbar in the lower right part of the window to the left or right to change the magnification. In Photoshop Elements, the thumbnails are arranged without spaces between them in a layout called the Adaptive Grid. This view lets you see more media files without disrupting the aspect ratio of the media files. File details, like the file names and tags, are not shown in this view. To switch the view between the Adaptive Grid view and a Details view that shows the rating and date of each media file, select View, Details from the menu bar to toggle the view between the two views. You can also switch to Single Photo View by double-clicking a thumbnail photo in the grid. To switch back to the grid view, click the Grid button in the upper left corner of the organizer window when viewing a single photo. To view photos in full screen view, select the image or images to display in full screen view, and then select view full screen from the menu bar or press the F11 key on your keyboard. The first image selected then appears in a full screen view. In the full screen view, a toolbar appears at the bottom of the screen when your mouse pointer is active over the image. If you hold your mouse pointer still for a few seconds, the toolbar disappears. You can then move your mouse again to make it reappear. You will also see an Edit and Organize pane appear as automatically collapsible panels at the left side of the full screen view. When the panels are collapsed, you can roll your mouse pointer over the panel title bars at the left side of the screen to make the panels expand so you can access their tools if needed. After you move the mouse pointer away from the panels for a few seconds, they automatically collapse again. If you selected multiple photos before entering full screen view, then you can move through the photos you selected or even play them in a presentation format like a slideshow. To display the previous selected media in the organizer window, click the Previous Media button in the toolbar at the bottom of the view. To play all the images you selected in a slide presentation format, Click the Play button in the toolbar to view the selected items using the current presentation settings available for the full screen view. The presentation stops automatically when it is finished, or you can click the Pause button in the toolbar, which is what the Play button turns into after you click it, to stop the presentation. To display the next selected media in the Organizer window, click the Next Media button in the toolbar. To change the presentation options for the full screen view, Click the Settings button in the toolbar at the bottom of the full screen view to open the Full Screen View Options dialog box. In the Presentation Options section within this dialog box, use the Background Music dropdown to select the name of a preset background music to play during the presentation, or select the None choice to not play any background music at all. To play your own background music, click the Adjacent Browse button to open a Select Audio File dialog box which you can use to navigate to and select the audio file to play. Elements will play sound files in MP3, M4A, WAV, MOV, WMA formats, and a few other audio formats. After selecting the audio file, click the Open button in the Select Audio File dialog box to set it as the default background music. To play any associated audio captions for selected photos within the presentation, Ensure there is a check mark within the Play Audio Captions checkbox. To specify the number of seconds each selected image will appear on screen during the presentation, select a choice from the Page Duration drop-down. You can also click into this drop-down and enter a custom time duration that ranges from 1 to 3,600 seconds if needed. Then check any of the following checkboxes to enable the associated options within the presentation or within the full screen view. Checking the Include Captions checkbox will display any photo captions associated with the selected photos. Checking the Allow Photos to Resize checkbox resizes the photos for best display within the full screen view. Checking the Allow Videos to Resize checkbox lets selected videos also be resized for best display within the full screen view. Checking the Show Film Strip checkbox displays thumbnails of the selected images as a film strip at the bottom of the full screen view. 
You can click the thumbnails in the film strip to display the selected image within the full screen view. The film strip is not shown during a presentation, however. Checking the Repeat Slideshow checkbox plays the presentation in a continuous loop. After setting the desired options within the Full Screen View Options dialog box, click the OK button to apply them. To change the transition used to advance from one photo to the next within a presentation in Full Screen View, click the Theme button in the toolbar to open the Select Transition dialog box. Select the option button that corresponds to the transition you want to apply, and then click the OK button to apply it. Clicking the Film Strip button in the toolbar shows the thumbnails of the selected images as a film strip at the bottom of the full screen view. You can click the thumbnails in the film strip to display the selected image within the full screen view. The film strip doesn't appear during a presentation, however. When viewing still photos in full screen view, you can click an image shown on screen to display it at its actual pixel size on screen. You can click it again to display it at the percentage of its actual pixel size that is best for full screen view. You can also place your mouse pointer over an image and scroll your mouse wheel up or down to increase or decrease the magnification of each image on screen. If an image is shown at a magnification level that allows for a part of the image to be displayed off screen, you can click and drag the image to pan the image and display different parts of the image on screen. You can use the View button in the toolbar at the bottom of the full screen view to display the selected images side by side or to display a single image at a time. You can click the View button to display a pop-up menu of the choices available and then click the view choice you want to display. The choices are horizontal side by side, vertical side by side, or single image. If you select either the horizontal or vertical side by side options, you can click the Sync Panning and Zooming and Side-by-Side -side View button in the toolbar, which looks like a lock, to synchronize panning and zooming of images when shown side-by-side. -side. If this button is not selected, then you can click each image when displayed side-by-side -side to pan and zoom each one independently of the other. You can turn the Edit and Organize panes on and off by clicking the Fix, or organize buttons respectively within the toolbar to toggle their display both on and off. You can click the info button in the toolbar to turn the information pane both on and off. To exit full screen view, press the exit button in the toolbar or press the escape key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.